Question number 10 is a book that made you cry. Hi. Hey guys, it's Alex and welcome back to Where Alex Reads. Today I am going to be doing a tag video that I have seen floating all around booktube for the past couple of weeks and that is the mid-year book freakout tag. I wasn't tagged in this but I wanted to do it anyways and I will make sure that I tag the original creator down in the description box below. This is kind of a long tag. There's like, I don't even know, 15 questions and some of them I'm gonna skip or combine because there were some I really just did not have answers to but for the sake of this video and how long it could potentially be, I am just going to dive right in. Actually, before I jump into the questions, I just wanted to give you a quick update on where I'm at with some of my reading goals for the year. I did post a 2018 goals video and I will link that up above for you. So if I remember correctly, one of my goals was to try to post consistently, I think, and that I haven't really done, but I am really trying hard to get better at posting more often so hopefully I can make up for that the last half of the year. Another goal that I had was to read more classics and I had put up a classics video of the six that I wanted to read by the end of the year. I've only read two of those but I have faith that I will finish the remaining four. One of them is on my TBR for this month so I'm confident I can get it done. And then my reading goal in terms of the number of books I want to read was 50 and I am doing really well on that one. I have already read 36 books for the year so I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna meet that 50 book goal and if I hit it I will probably bump up my reading goal to like 70 because I think with where I'm at so far 70 is attainable which is exciting. Anyways, I'm gonna jump into these questions now, for real. So the first question is the best book you have read in 2018 and I had quite a few books that I was debating between and I may actually do a top five books that I've read so far this year video. We'll see. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. But because I had to pick one, I decided to go with The Heart's Invisible Fury by John Boyne and I read this book in March maybe and I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did but I loved this book. I thought the writing was phenomenal. This book follows the main character at, from the time that he is a little boy through his life and I think it you catch up with him like every seven years I believe and he lives in Ireland and he is a gay man growing up in Ireland and it just talks about his life and dealing with things with the Catholic Church and their views on certain things and it was phenomenal. I just love that book so much and I couldn't put it down and I would highly recommend it to anyone interested um, in anything like that. The second question is the best sequel you've read so far in 2018. If you remember another one of my goals kind of, um, I did this later on in the year, was to read some more series that I've started and haven't finished. So I've actually read quite a few sequels but the best one I think that I've read so far was Morningstar by Pierce Brown. This is actually the third book in the Red Rising series. Um, it's the third book in like the first part of the trilogy. I think there's going to be two trilogies with this. I'm not really going to go into much of what this is about because that would spoil the first two books. But let's just say this was a phenomenal conclusion to this first trilogy and I loved every minute of it. The first two I read a little slower, I think just getting into the world and being introduced to the characters still and you meet a lot of new characters in like the second book as well and this book I just jumped right in. I loved it. Um, probably one of the best like conclusions to a trilogy, I guess it's like a semi-conclusion, um, that I have ever read. So highly, highly recommend if you're into any like sci-fi, fantasy, 
um, space stories, pick this up. Question number three is a new release that you haven't read yet but you want to and this book is going around booktube like crazy right now and that is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang and I picked this up oh like a month ago I think sometime last month when I first heard about it and it sounded so interesting and I'm so excited to read this but I just have not gotten to it yet and I don't know why. Hopefully next month. I don't think I'm gonna have time this month but I think next month I'm gonna make room for this on my TBR. From what I understand this is like an intense adult fantasy book and this is going to be a series. I think this is going to be a trilogy which is exciting but also sad because we have to wait for the other books to come out. I mean, I don't I don't know if I'm even going to like it. Maybe maybe I won't think it lives up to the hype, but I have a feeling that I am going to enjoy this one when I eventually get to it. Question number 4 is your most anticipated release for the second half of 2018. And I don't keep up that much on releases. I really don't. I kind of just see them as they are becoming popular on booktube to be quite honest. However, I am complete trash for anything that V.E. Schwab writes and I follow her on Instagram and well yeah just Instagram because I don't really use Twitter or know how to use Twitter. So I follow her on Instagram and her book Vengeful which is the second book to Vicious is coming out in September I believe and I am so excited. I just read Vicious at the end of 2017, I think in December, and I loved that book. I didn't quite like it as much as A Darker Shade of Magic in that series, however I still really enjoyed Vicious and I'm so excited for the next book to come out and I will definitely be pre-ordering it and reading it pretty much right away. Question number five is your biggest disappointment and for this I have to go with The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. I don't know where I got this book, probably Book Outlet, I think, and I had seen some things on booktube about this before and people really enjoying this and I think the Goodreads reviews for this are pretty good and anything with like magic system and fantasy I'm usually really into but this book was slow and I took so long to get into it. I don't even remember that much about it because it was just a forgettable book to me. Um, yeah, this was a disappointment because I was excited to read it. I wanted this to be good and it just wasn't and I think this is a series but I will not be continuing on unfortunately because it was just a very slow, hard read for me to get into so I was pretty, pretty disappointed. Question number seven is your favorite new author. I am skipping this question because I could not come up with a good answer. I haven't read like multiple books by a new author this year or really fallen in love with anyone as an author this year so on to the next question. Questions number eight and nine I'm kind of combining. Oh hi Guinness. <laughs> hi puppy. His tail's wagging. Question number six I don't even know. I'm like getting these questions all out of order so if at some point they're messed up, I apologize. But question number six is your biggest surprise and for me I went with Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen and this was on my list of classics that I wanted to read this year and I don't know I just wasn't expecting to like it. I was expecting it to be a slow read and hard to get into but I had such a good time reading this and it took me like the first I'd say 150 pages or so um, to really get into the story but once I did I could not stop reading this. I was totally invested in the characters and in what was going on and in the love story and all that you know um, 19th century drama. It was a great read and I was surprised by how much I enjoyed this book. Questions number eight and nine I'm kind of going to combine. Question eight is your newest fictional crush I believe and then question nine is like your favorite new fictional character. Yes, new favorite character, that's right. So I don't really have a fictional crush at all. Um, 
Yeah, I don't. So my new favorite character, however, is Victra, and she comes into the Red Rising series in the second book. Um, this is Golden Sun, so this is the second book in the Red Rising series. I talked about Morningstar earlier, and Victra is just this total badass, awesome female character. She doesn't care what anyone else thinks about her. She speaks her mind, but she's also very personable at the same time. She is just a really great character and I fell in love with her in this series. But again, if you're going to pick this series up, you're not going to meet her until this book, but she's she's great. Question number 10 is a book that made you cry. I am not very emotional and I don't really cry a lot when I am reading or watching TV, so I have no answer for you on this one. Sorry if the camera angle is a little off now from where it was. My dog came in and knocked my camera, so I had to try to get it back to where it was, and I did my best. Anyways, I think I was on question 11, and that is books that make you happy. And I picked two books for this one just to kind of make up for some of the other questions that I didn't really have answers to. And the first one is Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agenda by Becky Albertalli. And this is just a very kind of fluffy young adult romance and it was so cute. I loved every moment of this book and I couldn't put it down. I ended up staying up pretty late one night just to finish reading the entire thing. And it was a great read and I haven't watched the movie yet but I'm really excited to watch the movie at some point. <laughs> and the second book that really made me happy was Moxie by Jennifer Matu. This was a very empowering book, also a young adult. I feel like a lot of times like the young adults, they just give you those happy feelings. They're quick, easy reads. And this one is a book all about feminism and how feminism is still relevant today and why it's still needed. I did actually a full length review on this that is spoiler free and I'll link it somewhere if you want to check it out. But highly, highly recommend this book. It made me so happy. It was such, such a great book and so much fun to read. Question number 12, favorite book to movie adaptation? I don't have any because I haven't watched any book to movie adaptations at all or really anything. I don't watch that much TV. Like I said, I do need to get to Love, Simon and I really want to watch that movie. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, oh, I did watch like an hour of A Wrinkle in Time on the plane like last month, but then the plane landed and couldn't keep watching it. So I enjoyed it. It was okay. I guess for the sake of this question, that is the best one I've seen because it's the only one I've seen. So yeah, shout out to A Wrinkle in Time. Favorite video review you have done so far? Does it have to be a review? Because the only one I did was Moxie, which that was my first review ever. So I guess that's my favorite. My favorite video I've done? I don't know, I really like doing TBR videos. I just enjoy kind of coming up with a plan for the month and I feel like that's really helped my reading and helped me stay on track. So those are probably my favorite videos to film just because I am a planner and I really love picking out what I'm going to read. Yeah, those are definitely my top. Question number 14 is the most beautiful book you've bought so far this year and for that I'm going to have to go with Wild Beauty by Anne-Marie McLemore and this was a total cover buy. I saw this floating around booktube and I know a lot of people really enjoy this book. I'm like halfway through it right now. It's it's okay. Um, but this was, yeah, I saw this cover and I was instantly like, oh, I want it. And these flowers are raised and 100% a cover buy for me. And I just love it so much. And the last question, question 15, is what books do you want to read by the end of the year? This is like a crazy question because obviously I have so many books I want to read by the end of the year. So I picked three that I'm really hoping to get to. 
all of these are young adult fantasy series and I have been trying to clean up on some of my series reading and finish some before I start any new ones so I've really been holding off on starting these but I've heard such good things about all of them. So real quick I'll just show you the books. I really want to read Never Nights by Jay Kristoff. I think this will be the one that I hold off on the most because the next book in this series was supposed to come out this year and then it got pushed to like late next year. So I have time before I read this series so I'm gonna hold off on this maybe by the end of the year maybe not we shall see what happens the next one and this one's just rampant on book two right now because the third book just came out and that is an ember in the ashes by saba tahir and this book i am just so excited about i have heard nothing but good things i don't think i've seen one bad review on this book or on this series at all and I own the first two books, so I really need to get on with this one already and, and read it. So this will be, this one will be soon. And then the next book is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. And I've had this book on my shelf for probably a year now. And I wanted to read some of Maggie Stiefvater's other books before I read this one. Don't ask me why, because I typically don't do that. Like, I typically don't try to read, like, an author's earlier works before reading something that's been recommended to me. But this one I did, and that was a big mistake, because I read Shiver, and it was just not good. I've talked about that book on, like, quite a few of my videos, but it was really bad. So I've been really nervous to read this one because so many people love it and I want to love it too but I'm just gonna have to read it and hope and hope I like this one so yeah that is all of the questions this is a lengthy tag and I feel like I rambled for a really long time so I apologize in advance let me know down below how you're doing with some of your goals for 2018 if you've read any of these books, if you liked them or hated them, definitely let me know. Love to hear what you think. Again, thank you so much for checking out my video and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.